Hey guys, it's me Jillian and it is now 2016, so I thought I would do a New Year's resolution video for you guys. And instead of just telling you my New Year's resolutions, I decided to put a little twist on this video and give you guys some tips and tricks on how to achieve your New Year's resolutions. And these are some tips and tricks that I'm also going to be using. So yeah, I thought that I would share them with you guys. Also, for this little five day week of videos, you guys might be seeing this weird background behind me that is not my usual bedroom. I'm just at my friend's cottage for the New Year's week and all that. So that is the reason for this weird background. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so let's just head on into the video. So first I'm going to start off by telling you guys all of my New Year's resolutions that I have made. And I just have my laptop with me, that's why I'm looking down to read all of my resolutions off of it. So my first New Year's resolution is to study harder and try harder for better grades. Um, I feel like I could try a lot harder. I do not get super bad grades. But I feel like they could obviously always be better. Anyone's grade could be better unless they're getting 100% on every single test. So I would love to try harder and get better grades in the future. Also, I would like to work harder and make my editing better for all of my videos. I feel like my videos are just like average sort of edited. I could add a lot more special effects and things like that to make my videos a lot more interesting and not super boring. So I would love to try for that and make my videos much better in that way. I would also like to upload more on my YouTube channel because I feel like uploading more just makes me like connect more with you guys and that way you just get more videos which is obviously better. So I'm going to try and really stick with uploading on weekends and Wednesdays. So that's two videos a week but sometimes I do miss one of those days and I apologize when I do. But I'm going to try really hard to upload both of those times a week from now on. Another resolution that I have is to get better time management because I feel like my time management really is not good. If I have a project and I get it like assigned to me at school like two weeks ahead of the due date, then I'll sort of just leave it until last minute because I'll think like, oh, I have tons of time. And then it ends up being like two days before it's due and I've totally forgotten about it and then I have the whole project to do. So I would really like to work on my time management for that. Another New Year's resolution that I have is to use my YouTube notebook more. So I have this little notebook that I bought and um, I just bought this recently because I needed a new one. But before I was just using a simple little notebook and I write down things for YouTube like ideas and the way that my videos are going to go and things like that. And I find that it really helps me out during my videos but sometimes I do not use my notebook for the videos. So I would really like to start using it more. This is my notebook. It's super cute. I don't know why I don't use it, but yeah, it's just regular line paper inside and I would just really like to use it more to help me plan out my videos better. My next New Year's resolution is another YouTube related one and it is to learn new things on my camera. As you guys know, I got my new Canon Rebel T5i and I'd really like to learn new tricks that I can do on it to make my videos better and just for better like photography purposes using the different settings and things like that that will really help me out. Another thing is to use my planner. Obviously I do have a planner if you guys saw it in my what I got for school video in August. Also I mentioned it in one of my favorites videos back then but I never use my planner and it is so nice and I love it but I am never motivated to use it so I really want to start working towards using it more often so that I can keep myself nice and planned out and that will also help me a lot for my time management resolution. Last but not least, this is pretty much the resolution that every girl has and it is to be more motivated to work out. Everyone has one of their own little workout resolutions and goals to meet and I don't really have like a weight that I would like to meet or anything like that or getting abs or getting skinnier. Things that most people have, I just want to be more motivated to do it. I feel like anyone that is motivated to work out and eats healthy and does some physical activity is a healthy person. So if I can work towards being more motivated to do so, then I think I'll be very proud of myself for that. Okay, so now we are going to move into how to get them. Woo! Okay, so I have a few ways to help you guys out and to help myself out for how to reach your goals and resolutions of 2016. So first, I'm going to say to set a strict goal. So if you want to, I don't know, let's say you're working out and you want to try and be able to do like 100 sit-ups in one sitting or something, whatever you guys want, then do not change your goal. Set a strict deadline for it. If that is to be able to reach it by 2017, then that's a good goal as well. And do not change the goal before its deadline is, is reached. So if you do not reach the goal by 2017, that's fine because then you can work towards getting it afterwards. But because you're not going to reach the goal does not mean that you should change it and make the deadline longer or make the goal easier because you're not really reaching a goal if you end up reaching it because you've changed it. So 
You're not really reaching your flat out goal that you set in the beginning. Next is going to help you with the first thing that I just said, and it is to be realistic about your goals and resolutions. This is so important because if you make a crazy goal, you're obviously not going to reach it, and that's really probably going to hurt your self-esteem because you're never going to be reaching any of your goals that you have set. So if you're going to want to be able to like run for a certain amount of time or something, don't make it like some completely unrealistic goal that you would never end up reaching, like. I don't know, running across the country or something, something crazy like that, don't do that because then you're obviously not going to be able to achieve it, so there's just no point in doing it. Next is to reward yourself when you reach your goals. Even if it's something as stupid as like a chocolate bar, something like that, it will probably help you to reach your goal. So if you have a goal set, make sure to get yourself a reward that you will be able to receive once you finish your goal and it will probably help you to achieve your goal because you're going to want the item that you have gotten yourself. Next, I have to make a list of your resolutions and goals so once the deadline for them comes, you can look and reflect on whether you have reached and achieved your goals or if you have not. So you can just get a notebook or a piece of paper, anything like that. I think it would be a really cool idea to sort of like decorate it and then you could hang it somewhere in your room and look at your goals every day and make sure that you're trying to achieve them in your daily life. And then at the end of your deadline, you can look at the list and check off what you've achieved and what you haven't. And I think it would be really cool to do that for yourself because you'd be very proud of yourself seeing that you've achieved all of your goals. Last but not least, this is the most important one of them all and it is to never quit. Whether you think that your goal is reachable or unreachable it can always be done so never quit even if you don't think you can do it because I'm sure you can <laughs> I don't want to sound really cheesy right now but I know that you can do anything so if you really set your mind to it I'm sure that you will be able to achieve your goals and just do all the other tips I said make yourself have rewards so you can finish and be super proud and then get a little reward after as well and just keep your goals and don't change them I feel like I've done this so much I'll be like okay, like, I'm going to get this done by this day, and then the day comes and I'm like, uh-oh, like, I got to extend this or something, and then it just ruins it because you're not actually reaching the goal that you wanted to. So that is all I have to say for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it really helps you to keep and achieve your New Year's resolutions for 2016. I hope you guys had an amazing year of 2015, and here is a new year to come. I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like this and subscribe. Bye!